It was about four years ago that I installed my loo flush system around the corner here. Um, it's changed over that time and I've reduced my storage from 400 litres connected to 200 litres with the two 100 litre recycled water butts. And um, with the function of a pump, a float switch in the loo and a couple of relays, uh, basically I've been able to take the loo kind of off grid using only rainwater to flush it, uh, giving me a, a saving obviously on my bill and uh, secondly um, the water company hasn't had to produce or clean that water uh, which I'm just going to flush away anyway. Uh, over the seven months I've had to uh, uh, on occasion implement um, grey water so I've had to pipe bath water into this uh, the water butts um, and uh, as a result I've got water butts all over the garden. I have actually sunk in an IBC container down the end of the garden under the decking which has helped uh, the usage during the summer um, and we've crossed a milestone uh, obviously it's just pipe around the corner for now to that meter and we've hit uh, if I can get to there we've actually hit 100,000 litres of rainwater or grey water flushed down the loo now I had to, I've had to go over the 100,000 litres by 300 litres to actually get the uh, display to move but you can quite clearly see we're actually at 100,000 litres or 100 metres cubed and uh, for that I'm actually proud we should have um, party poppers, balloons and um, whistles and party hats for this but it's amazing. Now I really want to uh, make this into a system that I don't have to maintain uh, however the loo has to be disconnected from the mains water in order to comply with the regulations. Um, so in times where we run low or uh, run out of water completely, I have to fill this with um, tap water and remove the meter, hence why it's a little bit green and nasty. Um, so yeah, we need, really need to uh, upgrade this system now. I want to uh, have a bigger pump, uh, possibly header tank, so that gravity fills the tank and then the loo afterwards. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's doing really well. Um, obviously, the downside to this at the moment is I have to manually fill this up. So I'm actually filling up from the IBC container. We haven't had rain in a fair while. And that hose runs down the garden. And of course, buckets of water everywhere. Uh, using the Roby power takeoff unit that I made years ago to actually uh, run the pump at 12 volts and it runs down into my IBC under the decking. Uh, in hindsight it would have been better to install uh, two IBC containers having them linked together um, but that, that, that didn't happen at the time because this was a uh, Saturday morning let's buy an IBC container and sink it in the ground kind of job. Uh, so yeah uh, we're full of water butts, we've got green water for the plants. Um, I've kind of gone a little bit mad on, on potted plants this year. Um, and of course water butts, containers and all sorts of things everywhere so I really want to consolidate these and uh, sink another IBC container in but however I don't really have much time at the moment on my hands uh, so it's not going to happen for the foreseeable future but anyway it's been working fine obviously I have to fill it up every so often 200 litres normally lasts us about four or five days and then I have to top the system back up again um, hopefully one day We'll have it uh, where it will pump up and down uh, on its own. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I've reached 100,000 litres. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.